Hello? Hello, Mr. Kevin. This is Officer Watt with the LSPD. Uh, can I have a moment of your time? Yeah, what's going on, Officer? Um, would you mind coming down to Mr. Rowe? We would like to talk to you about an incident that happened three days ago at Mosley's hey, involving a one Frederick Rowland. Frederick? I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, I can come down. Uh, it's, 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 we, we just want to know what happened. We just need a statement from you, sir. Sure, sure. I'll be can right remember there. remember something? Perfect. Thank you very much. Right. I'll be waiting for you in the lobby, so we'll meet there. Yep, be right there. Right. See you in a little bit. Bye. Oh, shit. Hello? Hi, how can I help you? I got called down here for questioning by an officer. Hello. This, this is you I was talking to? Yep. All right. Follow me, sir. Yep. Um, do you have any weapons on you, sir? Uh, no, just, how are you doing uh, today, crowbar? sir? Just a crowbar. All right, perfect. Is that true? Happy in uh, I just need to talk to you. He's my, uh, what you call it? Legal aid. Paralegal, just doing? in case. Perfect. Okay. Oh wow, I've never actually right. been to this part. Um, Mr. Kevin, were you at Mosley's on the twenty third at uh, the twentieth of the third? Like uh, three days ago? Uh yes. Is this regarding a sh shooting with the cops and a and a man? Yes. Yes, I was I was actually there and um I actually have recordings of that whole thing. Okay. Um would you like to provide a statement of what you saw, what happened? Sure, what happened? of course. I'm all about justice. Okay, perfect. Um, would it be easier for you to write your statement down and sign it and give me a a, a written form, or do you just want to tell well, me? I'd rather speak it. I mean, ask me whatever you want, and I can I can I can answer. Okay. So were you on the the twentieth of March at the uh, Mosley's? Correct. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, were you accompanied by Mr. Rami or Raman by any chance? Yes, it was me and Rami at Mosley's. Mm -hmm. Um, did you see any officers inside? Yeah, I saw three officers. Um, Cornwood, Shiesty, and some lady. She had, like, blonde hair. Okay. Um... Do you happen to know a Frederick Rowland? Uh, yes, Frederick was the man that was in the uh, Moses at the time. He seemed very distraught and um, lethargic and um, just very upset. Okay. Um, did you hear any conversation between Mr. Rowland and Officer Shiesty? Uh Yes, a lot of badgering going on back and forth. Would you say that they were aggressive to each other? Um, yes. Yes, I would say so. Was Mr. Rowling holding a knife? Um, not in the beginning, but uh, at a certain point, yes. So he pulled out a knife in front of the other officers? Yeah, after they were arguing and bickering for uh, for a bit. Um, okay. He pulled out a knife. He just stood where he was. Um, I mean, I have it all on tape as well, so I mean... The, the story will show you. Would you be willing to provide the, the tape as well? Sure, I could send it to you. Um, basically, they were arguing. Um, I think they had their guns out or something. The guy pulls his knife. He's just standing there. They're talking a bit more. I believe it was Shiesty. Takes his gun out. Just shoots the guy in the head. At that point, officers just started treating him like a sack of meat. Dragging his body around. Going through his pockets. Searching him. Cuffing him. Didn't give him any medical, anything like that. Uh, just threw him in the cop car and then take him, took him out again and just just mishandling him. It was actually disgusting. It was disgusting. The guy didn't seem like he was in the right state of mind to begin with, and it seemed like they just treated him like a sack of fucking meat instead of a human. Okay. I could send um, you that uh, footage um, in a second here. Let me see. You're 386 uh, 1540? Uh, yeah. I think that's me. Yep, one five four zero. Yep. If you could also please send me a copy. 
Hey, GG, you got a repair kit? Man, he already had a motherfucking knife pointed at me. I mean, a motherfucking gun pointed at me before I even had a knife out. What is your name, Put official? Put your shit up, cuz. Like I'm about to stab the shot your cuz. Man, I'm sick. What the fuck? You got that on tape, right, Kay? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Uh, he just said he threatened my life multiple times. Told him to put hey, Gigi, you got a repair kit? He already had a motherfucking knife pointed at me. Okay. Is that. I don't see me on the ground, dad! They just shot this dude in the That's head. Uh, no one's. Uh, C H R I S D O T H E R. Oh, y'all don't see me on the ground, dad! So. I just sent you both. So basically, yeah, they were arguing. These officers just were walking around with their guns out. They were just pointing them at the guy. Uh, that's when the dude mm -hmm. started getting pissed. He pulled his knife and then uh, got shot in the head. Uh, he was bleeding out on the ground. Officers just ignored him and started working on their car again, checking their uh, upgrades and turbos. And that's what really just rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, they 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 shot the guy and immediately just acted like he wasn't there. He's bleeding out, dying. They 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 didn't call an ambulance they didn't call for medical they just kind of left them and went back to working on their car and then once we said something about it that's when they went over to him started searching him and just threw him in the car it's all there on the footage okay um, uh, i believe it was definitely excessive force going on uh, based on your recollection how far do you say um mr Rowland was from Officer Shiesty, if you could, you know, kind of, let's say, if, if I'm Officer Shiesty and you would be Mr. Rolling that car. Um, well, when it started, mm -hmm. probably like, probably about this. Yeah. Um, the officers just had their guns pointed at him. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not really sure why. They were just talking and bickering. And then he started getting upset. He was obviously, something was what's up with him. And, um, then I'm not gonna do anything. Then he just took it out like this. He's like, "Man, you better put your gun away. Why are you guys pointing your fucking guns at me?" Mm -hmm. And uh, they they shot him right there, and um, they just went to work on their car and just left him. Okay. Um, just for one more clarification question: When you entered Mosley's, the officers and Mr. Rowling were already there, correct? Um, no, no, the officers were there. Uh, Frederick okay. came after, so I was there for the whole came thing. After. Okay. They okay. were just talking. Uh, the officers were very on guard. They had their guns out before anything even happened. Uh, they were just talking, mm -hmm. and then they started pointing their guns at this guy for for really no reason. And then that's okay. when it escalated. So uh, I don't understand what was going pointing on. Pointing their guns when he pulled his knife. No, out, they or... were pointing their guns uh, before he even pulled anything. Okay. Before it was even anything, right. they were just talking and bickering, and they were just pointing their guns at him. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all we need to know. Um, thank you very much for coming in, sir. Uh, I do appreciate you coming yeah, in and talking to I, us. I and, think they uh, were just the, like, uh, it's, it's just, uh, I just well. want to say one more thing though. They're, these cops, they value their turbos more than people's lives. So mm. for whatever mm. reason, they assume everyone's a fucking scumbag and Anyone that comes near them when they're working on their cars, they're just pointing their fucking guns at it. It's just endangering, they're endangering the society and they're provoking people. It's not de-escalation, they're escalating everything. They're pointing guns at people, they're threatening people, they're scaring people. Excessive force, I mean, there's no reason to have your gun out and pointing that at fucking civilians. Cause then maybe mm, this guy, that is... maybe he maybe he wasn't right. You're pointing your fucking gun at him, he, he's, gonna, he's gonna fucking lose his mind. That is true, sir. Um, that Something is why we're looking into this, this, sir. It's crazy. And then That's after they shot uh, him, they showed into. no care for his life. Maybe he was going through a lot. Maybe he's got a drug problem. They shot him and just left and went back to working on their car. It makes me fucking sick. As I said, sir, that's that's why we're looking into this. We wanna we wanna find out what exactly happened. Mm, mm, mm. Well, if we need anything else, just let me know. Yep, I will give you a call, sir, if we need anything else. Thank you very much for coming in. Yep. I uh, do appreciate it. <laughs> you take Have it. a nice day, sir. I appreciate it. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, that's the guy in red. <laughs> Good one. Bye-bye. See the guy in red? Is that, is that the hill? Yeah.